just a few days now, the new general manager of the MBTA will be taking over that position, and he'll be headed right into the hot seat. Riders right now questioning the reliability and, of course, the speed of the T as well. WBZ's Christina Hager's live for us in Dorchester tonight. And, Christina, you put the T's speed to the test today. Yeah, David, the red line here is one of the notorious problem spots, and people who ride it really hope these changes at the top will offer some relief. The red line from Ashmont Station in Dorchester, a spot that has commuters exasperated by the slow ride. This is off the tracks. So on this last weekday before the MBTA's new general manager takes charge, we rode trains between Ashmont and South Station. 11.45, we're leaving Ashmont. Let's see how long this takes. Entering Field Corner. We expected the slowdowns because MBTA officials have explained it's to allow for crews to work on track maintenance. But at certain points, it came to a full stop for about three minutes. Here we are, 12.16, and we left at 11.45. The trip back took 34 minutes, and according to Google Maps, driving the route would have saved us 16 minutes. Bicycling, five minutes faster. It would have been faster to ride a bike. Does that surprise you? No, it doesn't. And, and that, it's even, I mean, it's worse to think that that kind of comparison can be made. What a disappointment. I would expect a train to be faster than a bike. It would have been faster to ride a bike, would have been faster to drive. Does that make sense to you? No, absolutely not. It's no. In fact, we calculated on this six and a half mile trip, the train traveled about five minutes for every one mile. The bells tolling in Copley Square. Last year's Boston Marathon winner would have beat it. Safe to say, I would not. Either way, commuters hope the new leadership will make a difference. Just maybe he might be able to, I don't know, change the course, change the direction. Now coming up at 6 o'clock, we'll hear from an advocacy group that's been pushing for improvements about what we can expect with these coming changes at the top. In Dorchester, Christina Hager, WBZ News. All right, Christina, thank you.